Hey everyone, Travis Merritt here with the Rowlett Transformation Center. How do you tell if you're not eating enough for weight loss? Seems kind of counterintuitive, doesn't it? It makes sense to me, it makes sense to everyone else. Hey, if you want to lose weight, eat less food. This is where things become a little tricky because obviously as we know, calories are like anything else. Too much calories is a bad thing, too little calories is a bad thing. You kind of have to find a balance or find moderation. But let's see, this is kind of how you can tell if you're in this state to what we call being underfed or really undernourished. So you're in the situation to where all of a sudden you're in your beginning stages of your fitness journey. You want to lose fat, you want to get in the best shape of your life, and you go, hey, I need to eat less calories. So you start eating less calories, and next thing you know, you see some good results. Your scale's dropping, your clothes are getting looser, you're noticing some tone and some lines and definition you've never seen before. Good stuff. Then instantly, this is just how we think as people, you all of a sudden go, well, you know what? If I eat even less calories, I should see results faster. So then this happens, and some of you may be here or have done this or are in this right now. You eat less calories, you feel a little crappy, but you're suffering, you're gonna do this because hey, you know, goals, whatever. And all of a sudden, the progress seems to stop. Scale doesn't change, clothes fit about the same, you look the same, you go, okay, I'm gonna give this a little longer, I'm gonna try a little harder, I'm gonna work out even more. So you kick it up in the gym even harder. You eat better, you kick it up in the gym harder, and you take your measurements again, and if anything, it looks like the scale went up. Bloated, you look inflamed, you look watery. You don't look lean and tone anymore. You almost look unhealthy. What the F is this about? Some of you may know what I'm talking about here. In all reality, guys, no, you didn't get fat, but what ends up happening is you get into a state of what we call underfed. When you're in an underfed state, basically this just means you're not taking in enough nutrients to keep your body healthy. Well, if your body is too unhealthy, pretty much won't lose weight. What you may notice is where I should say lose fat. You'll just notice that things become very erratic. Life kind of sucks then. You got to remember fat loss really isn't always the first thing on a person's mind or the body's mind when it comes down to health. It has other things it has to address first. You got to address a healthy immune system. You got to make sure that the circulatory system is healthy. Other organs are healthy. You got to make sure that the hormones are functioning well, things of this nature. The body's got to make sure that it's taken care of and healthy before all of a sudden it goes, hey, you know what? Dropping some fat would probably be pretty good for me right now. Now, for those cases of people that have to lose an extreme amount of weight, this is a little, that can be a little bit of different for them right now because if you're morbidly or grossly obese, you know, at that point in time, things can be different. This is for those people that are trying to drop, you know, anything less than about 50 pounds, maybe even less than 75 pounds you get into that state. But especially this is very true for those people trying to drop those last 10 damn pounds. So really here's how to find out. The best way to do this is you need to track your calories. You're going to have to track your calories for at least a couple weeks just to really find out what's happening, what's going on. At that point in time, track your calories and then also take a look at some popular calorie counting uh, softwares online just to see where it suggests that you should be at taking consideration your BMR and also taking into consideration your day-to-day -day activity level. If you're noticing a major discrepancy between the two, it most likely means that you're probably in a very underfed state. You don't have a lifestyle, you have a prison sentence. You know, you just have a crappy way of life that's just not fun. And that's not what fitness should be about. Changing your life and changing your body shouldn't be about suffering. It's not to say that, hey, you come into the gym and you gotta bust your ass a little bit and work out hard. Hey, that's part of the equation. But day-to-day -day life should not suck. It probably means things are a little too extreme for you at that point in time. It might mean that you need to readjust and reallocate some things. So guys, if you're noticing that you've been dieting like a mf -er, you have been working out and killing yourself in the gym, and you're tracking your calories and all of a sudden you go, holy crap, I'm only eating 1,300 calories a day? Yeah, you're probably not gonna lose very much weight on that because your body is just trying to freaking survive at that point in time. I wouldn't worry, that's a different topic for a different day. But if you're there, might be time to start eating a little bit more, get back on a healthier way of life. And when you notice when you're eating more for health, eating more for performance, the body composition will change very, very quickly on that. So guys, if you got any comments or questions or things you want to kind of chime in on, hey, put them in the comment section below. I'll be more than happy to chime in on this. But in the meantime, everyone, take care, have amazing workouts, eat some damn food, especially some healthy food. Don't starve yourself. That sucks. Life sucks then. No one's happy when you're like that. Have great workouts. And I look forward to chatting with all of you tomorrow.